Composting is an attribute in organic farming whereby we try to use as natural methods as we can to add fertility to our soils. And today coming uh, from Larry is uh, George Moturi who will be teaching us more about vermiculture. And vermiculture is composting using various species of worms. George, thank you so much for having us today at your farm. Uh, but before we get to the main thing you're doing here, which is vermiculture, we want to know who George is. Uh, so welcome, uh, I'm George Moturi Kamau, uh, I'm the founder of uh, Comfort Worms and Insects, which also runs the farm that is Agritech Organic Farm, which is based in uh, Kaga village, Kamburu Ward, that is in uh, Rally Sub County, Kiambu County. And uh, here mainly we are dealing with, uh, just like the name, uh, worms and insects. So we deal with uh, the earthworms, the uh, sobrak soldier fries, and other things here at the farm. So when was Agritech founded? So Agritech was uh, founded back uh, seven years ago. That is when I started uh, the rearing of earthworms, which basically we call vermiculture. So in uh, a brief, we say that uh, vermiculture is the rearing of earthworms uh, for a number of reasons. Then now from there, that is when now we get into the main thing, which we call the vermicomposting. Now that is what we are doing here. Yeah. So why would you say you had this idea? How did you conceptualize this? Uh, so when I was starting this, I just had an idea of just producing worms for chicken to try and substitute. It was just right after high school. That is when I, I had a challenge of feeding my chicken. So it was just an idea of uh, producing the worms to feed chicken so that I, at least I can uh, have some production without having to go into buying commercial feeds. So that is when I started now the earthworms uh, research. So I tried to look into some of the things that I can do uh, for, the, for the chicken. So this one came as the first idea and uh, I tried to try to look because uh, for you to start you need first to run then get the seeds so i tried to to get uh, the starter kit or the the starting worms and uh, i did my research mostly on the internet and that is how i was able to kick off and buy the worms so what were the first things that you had to do first first this was a very very new idea no, no, nobody was doing it around, so first I had to run on uh, what I need to do, what the worms need, the environment they need, uh, the do's and don'ts of the worms, uh, the predators, what would make them reproduce more. So that is basically first uh, what I had to do to run. Then now after running, uh, it's uh, what we do, we call the setup or the construction. So that is uh, constructing the environment for them, the bed, we call it the bed. So constructing the bed for them. And then, then now from that point is introducing the worms. So I went, I bought the worms and introduced them into my bed. So now that is uh, how I was able to kick off uh, in terms of, uh, now that was vermiculture. So I started now producing, producing the worms. And uh, I did it for some time. Uh, for a period of about two to three years. I was feeding the chicken maybe once, once in a month, because now uh, the rate of reproduction for the worms, it is not that consistent in a way that you can feed the chicken on a daily basis. So uh, though I had it uh, as an idea that I can feed the chicken continuously on a daily basis, I came to realize that it was not doing very well to feed my chicken. But uh, running more on the internet, trying to find out uh, what can the worms do apart from being used as a source of protein. So that is when I realized that they can uh, work very well in terms of producing the compost, that is the vermicompost, which now, that is what we are producing now at the moment. So what are the uh, management practices that you have to incur in between? And how long does it take from the moment now you introduce the worms to the time you have your refined manure? 
So now there are a number of uh, activities that we do. Now like uh, when we set, we call it the setup. When we do our setup, after now you have your structures ready, we will need now to prepare the bed and prepare the feeds for the worms and also prepare the beddings for the worms. So uh, for a start we have to get uh, dry matter, mostly dry leaves, hay, those types. Uh, then we get manure, either cow dung, rabbit droppings, pig manure. Then from that point we get a variety of green leaves. Uh, those are the things that we need to have in place when we are doing our setup. Now after that setup and introducing the worms, now we keep on managing or looking whether the worms are working on your compost, the environment is good for them, uh, the, whether there are any predators in the, in the bed. So those are the things that we keep on checking. Though it's not uh, an activity that we have to like, do now and then. Because once in our construction, we try first to work in a bed that can keep away most of the predators. So when we work on the bed and we feed our worms, so what we keep on checking is whether the temperatures are okay, uh, the humidity or the moisture content is okay. And once that is okay, we don't keep on like checking on a daily basis. You can check once, twice in a week and then your system will be, will be okay. So after how long now are you ready to take the compost to the farms? So now the compost gets to be ready within a period of 30 to 60 days, depending on the number of worms that we have in our system. So now like uh, in our beds today, we say our beds take a capacity of uh, uh, 5 to 7 kgs. That is the minimum we have per bed. If we give per bed 10 to 12 kgs, the worms will be able to work on the compost within a period of 30 days and we can be able to harvest. So the more the number, the faster they work on the compost. The rest the number, the longer it takes for your compost to be ready. Yeah. So you've talked about harvesting. So is this uh, separating the worms from the compost or how, how do you go about that? So now when we get to harvesting, Harvesting, we say there are a number of ways you can say you are harvesting. One, you can uh, harvest everything or you can remove everything from the bed, including the worms. Then we sieve. We have specific sieves that we use. We sieve, then now the worms will remain on top with the bigger materials which are not composted. Then we put that back in the system and feed them afresh. That is one of the ways. The other way is that we call it, the, we give or we move the compost on one side. We put in new manure. We, read, we give the worms a period of one to two weeks for them to migrate into the new manure. Then now we can be able to remove whatever they, they composted area. And also after that, we will sieve because they don't migrate at 100%. So we, we will also, also sieve the compost that we remove from there. So those are the two main ways that we can use to, to, sep to, to separate the worms and the, and the compost. Yeah, yeah. So I know vermiculture is one of the efforts that uh, have been invented to support organic farming. Yeah. So would you say this is sustainable for farmers maybe who are even in commercial farming? Yeah, I can say it's uh, sustainable. Because now, uh, when we, we, we look into the, like, uh, the commercial farmers, the main challenge at times they get is that uh, you may not be able to produce the right amount or the amount that you need uh, of compost from a vermicomposting unit. But uh, that, I think, has just been a notion with most of the farmers. Because now we say you can work on a system that you are going to produce a ton per month of the compost, two tons. It all depends on what you are feeding the worms, the amount, and also the space that you have to produce your compost. So you can, uh, it can produce either small scale, large scale, depending on one setup for them to produce. 
So even the large scale organic farmers, they can either be able to produce their own compost. So what is the future of Agritech? Uh, so now the future of Agritech, mainly we have been uh, not only just producing the compost, we have been working with uh, other farmers. We have also been uh, mostly the people I'm working with at the moment, they are the youth. So mentoring more and more youth into this sector of the organic farming and mainly the production of the compost, vermiculture, and, and that is vermiculture and vermicomposting. And uh, also at the moment we are offering internships uh, to people who are in colleges, universities. So trying to spread the gospel of vermiculture and vermicomposting uh, so that we can, be, we can reach a point that we are able to produce uh, vermicompost in large scale and use it in our, in our country to develop uh, the soils because now the biggest challenge at the moment is that the soils are, are not productive because of the continuous use of the synthetic fertilizers and chemicals. So if we get to that point, even the nation will be food secure. So uh, the future is that we are trying as much as possible not only to produce uh, compost in large scale, but also to mentor other people. Yeah. So for people who would want more information, how can they reach you? So for people who would want more information, uh, they can reach us through social media platforms. We have a page that is Agritech Organic Farm. They can also check us on YouTube. Uh, you can find a channel that is George Moturi on YouTube. You will find uh, information on vermiculture, vermicomposting. And also they can reach us through our telephone number that is 0727 675 682.